just so lost for words. Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers and you guys mean the world to me. I'm truly in awe and I just had to do a voiceover for the first part because I was just so lost and my mind was just racing at like 1,000 kilometers an hour. So I'm super excited to release this texture pack for you guys. And anyways, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Okay, so yeah, this is what the pets look like. They have like a little toter on them and he's kind of eating chips or whatever. And then this is what the wool looks like. Okay, that works. But anyways, let me see what I can do with that. This is what the fireballs look like. I kind of made them an inspiration from like other kind of neighboring animes. So if it looks kind of familiar to like some like magic or something, then you know why. I love like the particles like the that come off like fire and when I throw that fireball because it's just so cute I think. The fire's pink and then here are the outline for the wool. It's just super cute and I love kind of making everything fit the Totoro theme and as you can see the hot bar is kind of like there's like Totoro on the hot bar and I kind of just drew like a little outline of Totoro not exactly a detailed kind of sketch which I think simplicity is like key when making a texture pack because sometimes less is more and a lot of times that's true and then for the hunger bar I used kind of like a bento box that I saw from the Studio Ghibli movies and then a TNT is just regular and these are what these swords look like when you get higher swords it becomes like more fancy I put like a lot of little effects on it so it's so cute that way okay I don't know what's happening here but that's what the crits look like they're kind of like stars but also any kind of effects have kind of that dust ball and then this is what the inventory looks like it's just super cute with all the dust balls and there's a little toter over here too oh yeah so this is what the golden apple looks like it's kind of supposed to be like an acorn i don't know if i captured it perfectly but i definitely wanted to make it kind of totero-y and i know they carried that little bundle of acorns around with them like the toteros so i kind of just want to make it like that and then as you could see this is what the sky looks like i'm using the day sky today and this is what the armor looks like it's kind of like a bow and then on the feet there's like sandals and it's supposed to be like vines or something because I want to make it more nature-like and I also put some bunny ears on the head because I think that's really cute. So yeah the particles coming off me right now are the little dust balls and that's for like any effects you have on you and I think it's so cute oh my gosh and my breakage that I made is so cute because it just gives off a nice toter effect like they're walking across the block which is I think marvelous and I really want to make it something unique and something personality kind of wise as well oh my gosh this guy's skin is kind of funny anyways the hot bar is kind of meant to be a rose goldy just to fit like a nice nature kind of natural theme almost and i just bought iron armor and this is what it kind of looks like it's just kind of like solid on the bottom and then on the top i put like a little bow so like all of the leather stuff will have just like a bow for the chest plate which i think is really nice and i didn't put anything for the bottom of the boots because i mean it gives it kind of more a plausible effect for Totoro because I'm pretty sure they ran around like in the fields with their feet which is kind of funny so I wanted to kind of make it the same as Totoro. The compass kind of has like a rose goldy kind of hue to it not too overwhelming but still enough to be like really aesthetic and nice. Okay I just love when I break the blocks that's like my favorite part of the pack or one of them at least. I'm super excited to release this pack to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope I wasn't getting your hopes up when you thought it was gonna be like a hardcore pvp pack just because I wanted to make this pack more of a unique kind of take and add some personality to it so I wanted to make it something that is different and not necessarily just strictly for PvP I mean it's definitely for Bed Wars because I play Bed Wars a lot oh and here's what the Iron Sword looks like it has just kind of stars and then there's a little dust ball on the hilts and I think it's super cute that way it kind of gives personality and then I just love how I made the fireballs they're a little bit translucent I think and they just look kind of cute in general so i hope you guys enjoy this pack oh my gosh okay that guy is kind of funny his skin's like a stevie and a villager almost i don't know what to call it okay um that was interesting okay so yeah the diamonds i didn't get to show you but they are rose gold okay gg and i'm probably gonna play another game i want to show you the guys in night sky oh yeah and then these are what the emeralds and diamonds look like i drew like a little thing on them to make them more realistic or like kind of just artsy in general all right so i am using the night sky and i just turned off my shaders just because i wanted to show you the exact kind of color of it since it is very vibrant and oh my gosh it is a big difference but anyways this is what the night sky looks like it just shows up much nicer when you don't have any shaders on or if you have light shaders okay this guy's bridging over anyways i just love how it glows and everything about it's just really nice and kind of nature 
kind of take on it. Okay, that's sad gray. But yeah, anyways, I just love the kind of twinkling stars they have on it as well. And then the overall color scheme is natural and just really nice that way. So it's kind of vibrant almost. And I just love everything that I just did with the sky because both the night sky and the day sky are really nice. So I actually will turn back on the motion blur shaders for you guys so that you can kind of see the difference in the color. All right, so I have turned my shaders back on and it's kind of more vibrant and makes it kind of less of a night sky but i still like it in both ways in any case because it's just so aesthetic and everything i love like the sky if you look up it has like that little totoro kind of thing it's just so cute and these are what the diamonds look like they're also kind of just like rose goldy light almost i don't know like a peachy color mixed with a yellowy-ish color if you per se it kind of makes like a cream color i wanted that kind of color scheme of being natural like nude colors and the bow on the leather armor is different depending on what color you kind of have your armor to be so this is the pink kind of fuchsia one and it's kind of dark red it can vary from being like red to like a black because some see like his is black because just of how the colors mix with each other okay that's funny anyways i mean i just love how there's different colors for it okay i could have probably tnt that but that's fine and also the fire is pink because i wanted a little bit of a different color but not too much of a discrepancy so i thought pink would be a nice color because red is kind of usually the default so i just wanted to do something different okay he just got comboed off there that is a good game there but yeah i just love these little floofy things that i made like these particles are my favorite because it just kind of gives off that creativity vibe that i was going for oh my gosh i'm just super excited to release this pack because i'm just so excited i was just lost for words when we hit 1k and it's just so exciting i thank you guys the world and back and i was so excited to see what happens in the future and everything is just super exciting and i was just super excited to make this pack as well and everything it just came together and hopefully oh my gosh okay that's fine now this is my first pack that i made so please go easy because if it doesn't look nice then i'm sorry i mean this is my first pack like texture pack that i made and i don't know if i did it right or not i did use some bases and then i kind of got inspiration from others as well so i hope i just pray that it actually comes out really nice and you guys like it and it's not just me being blinded by my view but i just really wanted to make a texture pack because i see a lot of people make texture packs and they look so cool and i just wanted to try it out for myself as well and the process is really just trial and error and it was so fun to make once I learned how to do texture packs and stuff and it just came all together. Oh my gosh, this is what the creeper looks like also. I kind of made it like a derpy face. But yeah, anyways, it was just really fun to kind of design everything or like most things and just see that it came together in the end and it actually worked out not too bad. So I'm super happy for that and I just really want to get better at making packs because I just see pack makers and I just, I give them my full praise. Like they are so good and they know how to make the pack aesthetic. They know how to make everything look really nice and just what colors clash with each other honestly i hope that you guys enjoy this pack as well and i really want to grow from this experience as well just in general and be able to make packs and just try different aesthetics for you guys just because i just love using texture packs in general it's like customizable it's like it's so fun that way this is what the knockback stick looks like it's kind of just the same i've kind of made a little bit lighter but not too much and here's the iron sword and it is enchanted because i did get sharpness so i just hope this pack finds you well and you're as satisfied with it as i am and i hope you weren't expecting like too much because i wanted to make it but i also didn't want to like mess up anything so Okay, um, that was close. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. But anyways, GG. So I'm just so happy that all of you guys choose to support me. And I'll probably be making a Discord server soon anyways so that we can interact and just become more acquainted with each other.